What is the number one mineral that will lower your blood pressure? In this video, we're going to discuss it in detail. My name is Dr. Story. I've been a doctor of chiropractic for over 26 years. I'm going to give you realistic advice based on my experience and based on the scientific literature. One of the easiest things to do is to take supplements to lower your blood pressure. And there are many different types of supplements. They all work to certain degrees. Some of them are more successful than others. And some work through different biomechanical pathways to lower your blood pressure. And very often, the more severe your blood pressure is, the more you're going to want to take advantage of natural solutions to lower your blood pressure. That should make sense. So someone who is just on the margin of high blood pressure may be able to take a very simple just one tablet a day of some natural substance, like the one we're going to discuss today. Or some people may need to take three or four tablets per day to be really aggressive with lowering their blood pressure. They may need to also change some things in their lifestyle in order to alter the blood pressure. So what is that mineral? The mineral is ding, magnesium. Now, magnesium helps lower your blood pressure. That's pretty easy to understand because it allows the blood vessels to become more pliable. But the number one reason why you should be taking magnesium is because we simply don't get enough of it in our diet. We need to eat a tremendous amount of vegetables in order to get enough magnesium. In addition to that, it's hard to get enough magnesium in the vegetables because the soil has been depleted of our natural uh, minerals and it just isn't as good as we hope it would be. In addition to lowering your blood pressure, magnesium has a lot of beneficial effects if you take it as a supplement. It will help relax muscles, prevent muscular uh, spasms. It will help arrhythmias in the heart. It helps vitamin D become more bioactive. And if you're taking vitamin D, but you are deficient in magnesium, you're swallowing the vitamin D, but it's not really getting into your blood system as much as you hope. And it is not being absorbed by the cells as much as you would hope. Thus, the vitamin D is not working as well. So if you're taking vitamin D3, for example, with vitamin K, and it doesn't seem to be helping your blood vessels, you may be deficient in magnesium. Now in the literature, magnesium intake is inversely correlated with calcification of our arteries. And the reason why is because a high intake of magnesium makes sure and keeps the calcium in the bones. So how much magnesium should you take? Well, that is uh, depending on the size of the individual, depending on the need of the individual. Uh, as a general rule, 325 milligrams for females, 400 milligrams for males, and that is usually, for most people, about adequate. If you are athletic, if you are sweating a lot, if you're losing a lot of minerals in your sweat, uh, then you may need more. If you are heavy set, if you are large, you may need more in order to lower your blood pressure. So I personally take a magnesium supplement and it actually has 500 milligrams of magnesium, which, you know, that's a hundred more than what is uh, generally recommended for the average person. However, I ride a bicycle anywhere between 10 to 15 hours a week. And right now it's really hot outside. Yeah, it's really hot outside and I'm gonna be sweating a lot. So it is important for me to get enough magnesium. Now I try to get a lot through my diet, but the supplement that I take, which is Magnesium Breakthrough, that has 500 in it. And I take it at nighttime personally because it helps me sleep as well as controlling my blood pressure, keeping my heart healthy, preventing muscular spasms. Magnesium does a lot. So this particular supplement that I take is made by a company named Bioptimizers. And I'll put a link down below in the description. They are the video sponsor for today. So if you want to look at the product that I'm taking, you're more than welcome to look at that. You will get a discount if you order through that link. However, if you want to compare to other uh, supplement companies, you're more than welcome to do that. I will tell you that when you start to compare uh, other supplements, the Magnesium Breakthrough has seven different types of magnesium in it. So it really is, in my view, 
no comparison. If you're having questions in regarding your blood pressure, regarding your overall health, and you want to contact me, we do Zoom appointments as well as telephone appointments. I am a practicing chiropractor, so we do see patients in my office. So very often I'm trying to help people get healthy through natural methods. But if you do not live close to me or cannot come into my office, then we do Zoom or phone consultations. There is a fee for that. It isn't free. However, you can contact my office. Down below in the description, you can find my, my website, my address, my phone number, and contact our office in order to schedule a Zoom or phone consultation if you would like.